So now we look at the different forms that energy can take. And there are 10 forms of energy. Let's start off with the first one, which is electrical. Electrical energy. Then we've got a little guy blowing a trumpet. Uh, so this is sound energy. We've got magnetic energy. Not often talked about, actually, magnetic energy. So I'll just put it in brackets. Uh, nuclear energy is important. Nuclear energy. Uh, now we've got a speeding speedboat. Uh, so this is a form of kinetic or movement energy. The more mass something has and the faster it goes, the more kinetic energy a body has. Then we've got light. We've been talking a lot about heat energy and how it moves from one place to another using by uh, radiation, conduction and convection. So heat energy is an important type of energy. Uh, sometimes it's called thermal, thermal energy. And then we've got an apple falling on this guy's head. This is a form of energy called gravitational gravitational potential energy. Potential energy. And any body, any um, object that is raised up above the ground has gravitational potential energy. And if you let a body fall, such as an apple, then we convert we um, we convert the gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. So that's when we have something falling like an, an apple. Mm. What other two have we got here? Uh, we've got ah chemical energy. Oops, wrong color. Chemical. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to add a word, chemical potential energy. And you probably noticed that in the previous one as well, under gravitational potential. Now, chemical potential energy, what does that word potential actually mean? Well, whenever you hear the word potential, all you need to think of is the word stored, because that's what it means. Chemical potential is stored energy in your muscles, for example, or it could be in a chemical that could be released in an explosion. Um, so that's potential, stored energy. And finally, we've got elastic. Elastic. And we can call this just elastic potential energy. Because when you stretch a spring or if you compress a spring, then you are storing energy in it and if you release it the spring will bounce off um, and that will go to would convert that elastic potential energy again to kinetic energy so there we are 10 forms of energy and um, remember that the word potential means stored and that the three types of potential energy that come up very often are gravitational potential energy chemical potential energy and elastic potential energy.